ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை நாலேஜ் தர் செஷன் லேர்ன் வித் மீ ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஹாப்பி நியூ இயர் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு கண்டினியூ ஆன் தி சேம் டாபிக் க்ளவுட் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் இன்டெகிரேஷன் இன் தட் ஆல்சோ த சேம் டாபிக் எஸ்எஃப்டிபி ரைட் in the last class we have seen the sftp adapter uh, as a as a sender and a sftp adapter as a receiver that means when you are using a sftp adapter adapter as a sender information the uh, the configurations are something different and when you are sending a uh, files to the another location using a sftp adapter as a receiver then the configurations are something different that means in the sender you will have the a scheduler apart from the source location and the files is uh, directory files everything will be there apart from that at what what frequent the file should be picked up that scheduler information will be there in the sender information but for the receiver you will have only the uh, file and locations that's all the target system what is the file what is the address for sftp address and uh, file location etc now there are some situations that you are not going to use the sftp adapter from the source as a sender or you are not going to push anything as a as a receiver you may be required to fetch some data in between the integration flow right so in that case how sftp adapter will be used what what is the pallet we are going to use it in the integration flow that's what we are going to see it now okay <coughs> sftp adapter in between the integration flow okay that is our concept for an example you are getting some order information from the source right in a normal integration process a source will be there and that will be sending some payload that contain order information okay you are the order will have the product id and you may have to did fetch some product catalog in between the integration flow right so assume that business stores those information in a sftp server and that catalog you have to fetch it in between the integration flow so in that case a sftp adapter will be come in picture in between the integration flow so in that situation how you are going to fetch the information from the sftp adapter or very simple case you are doing some integration process but you are going to access in between you are going to access some external system those credentials are stored in a sftp server and that will be fetched in between the integration process okay so those things how we can going to accommodate that we will be seeing today today session okay okay now <coughs> there is a pallet called po uh, pole enrich that's what we are going to see it now let me go to the di- diagram this is what we are going to use it in the integration flow work a pallet called pole enrich like request reply or something like that there is another pallet called pole enrich that we are going to use it pole enrich will allow you to fetch the data from sftp adapter so this sftp adapter will s- send you the required files and pole enrich will process that file information this is the the business flow i already explained you the external system send you some data payload using that payload you are going to additionally fetch some detail from the sftp adapter using a pallet called pole enrich okay now the pole enrich will have three options on hand whether you want to replace the new content with the old whatever they come in the payload or you are going to combine it together or you are going to concatenate it together okay that we will see it in the uh, i flow session now i will go to btp and i will explain to you okay okay 
Okay, now I am inside the BTP. Uh, I'm, I already created the iFlow. I will explain you uh, the configurations of that. Okay, so I will there is iFlow I created for SFTP3. Hope you are able to see that now. Okay. So as usual, uh, there is a sender. The sender is connected via the HTTPS adapter uh, to the iFlow endpoint, and uh, this connection point I mentioned it as SFTP three. Okay. So I am going to execute this through a postman by passing one uh, payload as a uh, input. Now, this is a pole enrich which you can call it from here, e from the external call, or you can type pole enrich that it will be available. So, uh, drag and drop it here. That's it. Now, if you see the pole enrich, pole enrich, as such, it does not have any big thing. Uh, general information you can name it as it is, whatever you want and it has a aggregation algorithm okay let us see that aggregation algorithm it has a th three option as i told you replace concatenate and combine xml a replace is a very straightforward you know uh, whatever the payload it is coming inside that will be overwritten by the new content which you are fetching it from the sftp server concatenate will join it this message plus this message as a single line effectively we will be using it in a text text information not in the xml format okay combine xml will will join the xml together multi messages it it became a multi messages that's it this is the only thing we are going to do it okay so I will explain you all the three one by one. First, let me open it as a replace. Okay, I am going to replace whatever the content I am going to read from the SFTP server. Whatever the payload, it is going to be overwritten. The final will be the whatever content from the SFTP server. Okay, how to do that? You prepare, you create a sender information. From the sender information, you have to pull it, not from the top down from the bottom up from the sender information you join it by a sftp adapter okay see now the sftp adapter configurations are something different it does not have any if a scheduler or something like that so the source information is as usual i am going to fetch it from a xml directory of my sftp server I put a file called discount.xml that xml file will be fetched up and this is my uh, I created one temporary uh, SFTP server for, uh, for our training purpose so in that then as I explained in the last session I already created my credential in my security material and these are all the information for the connecting things okay and processing you have the same option uh, read lock wha what are the locking method you want to have uh, uh, provide I, I locking method you are going to follow it so I choose none here and wha what if I should do after the post processing what should I do whether keep the file or delete it file or make it as a archive things right so I, I, I did not do anything much on this I kept it as it is that's it that's all very simple now so you are sending a payload in between you are fetching some information from the sftp server using the sftp adapter so remember it should be a sender and from there you are pull pushing it and the parameters of the sftp are as i explained you here that's it right 
now we will deploy it and execute in a postman and and see it okay once it in postman i will explain you okay it is now started okay now i will go to postman and execute it now i am going to postman i am going to execute it see now i am going to send some body okay now what the thing is i am going to fetch some discount.xml from my a uh, from my ftp server okay i will show you my ftp server here this xml file i am going to read it from my uh, cpi okay so that will be replaced now i'll go to postman I'll send it now. See, it shows me the XML file here. That is the discount XML. I put it in FTP server. That comes here, but this body is. replaced because i use the replace option in my uh, iflow now what we'll do is i will go to iflow again <coughs> i will say combine xml right i will send one xml file here and uh, from discount it both will get combined that we will see it now okay i will go to my ftp ptp in the poll option i will choose instead of replace i will say combine xml right so i am going to send a body as well as xml and both the xml server will be combined together so combine xml and save and deploy it okay once it deployed i will go to postman and show it again okay postman now we use combine xml right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass one xml file here say product.xml this product.xml i sending as a body and in the response it is going to fetch the discount xml and both the xml are combined together and show it to you I will send it. See, now both the it it is showing multi messages, right? It's showing a multi messages now. Product and discount together. Can see product is there. and that product is completed the multi message one you see the multi message one is completed then second one multi message two started another one like discount message number two this is message number one right both the xml server combined together now so this is how it will work for the combined dot xml now we will see concatenate concatenate is very straightforward uh, probably xml will not be useful i will i will simply send one uh, text file and i'll show you now okay i'll go to btp in that i will change it to concatenate Save and deploy it. 
once it is deployed i will go to postman and show you the concatenate option so my uh, output should be like a uh, a plus b okay uh, postman so now we have used conca concatenate option right so uh, instead of xml what i will do is i will send the text file so that you can my text line okay so it should it should join after this three dot four dots okay so this also i will clear it now we will send it see it concatenated it immediately start after this see the xml file started immediately after this dot line okay that's it uh, though i did not give you a exact business scenario but hope you can understand how you can fetch the uh, file content from a sftp server in between the integration flow right the, the pole entry have a uh, three options which way either of them you can use it a uh, replace or combine or concatenate okay uh, this is how the i uh, i flow will look like so you'll have a pole and reach and you'll have a sender and it is connected by a SFTP adapter. That's it. Hope this session will be helpful to you uh, in terms of SFTP adapter either as a which we call it as a starting point which has a scheduler and as a receiver ending point uh, to push the files into a SFTP location or reading a file from a in between a SFTP location. Okay using a palette called pole and reach hope this session will be helpful to you okay please do comment your remarks or any questions so that i will be happy to answer your questions thank you thank you so much